So the binary weight of a number is equal to the number of ones in its representation. So for instance, and the notation for this is WT often. This is also called the Hamming weight because Richard Hamming was instrumental in developing it. So the symbol for this is WT. You may also see something involving an H like H sub WT, but I'm gonna use WT for weight. So what would the weight of three be? First, I have to convert three and I have to say, okay, what's the biggest thing I can get out of three that's a power of two? Two. And then what's the next biggest thing I can get out that's a power of two? One. one. So this would be one, two, one, one. Right, three equals one, one, sub two. You buy that? So the binary weight or the Hamming weight of three would be two. Binary or the Hamming weight of four be? Would it be one, one, with two, like one, two, one, two? So what we have to do is we have to figure out, okay, what's the biggest power of two when that we can get out of, so these are our powers of two. And what's the biggest power of two that we can get out of four? Two. Well, we can actually get four, right? Because two squared is four. Because we can get four, we can just write four as four times one plus zero times two plus zero times one. So the binary weight of four would be one. And what's the binary weight of five? So we could write this as one times four plus zero times two plus one times one, which would be one, zero, one, sub two. And there are two ones in this representation. So the binary weight of five is this a function? Yes. Yes. Because if I tell you I want the weight of this number, is, can there be any controversy about what the result is? We can figure out what it is. It may take us a minute, but 